channel my name is Tyrion Tanae if you are new here if you're a returning subscriber hey girl how you doing so as y'all read about the title we're gonna be doing a get ready with me today for a valentine's day look and a valentine's day outfit that i want to give y'all because y'all know valentine's day is coming up and we're gonna get cute whether we're doing galentine's or we're going out with our man you know etc etc so without further ado don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel turn on the post notification bell so you can read ding and reading ding Alright, so I already washed my face and moisturized and everything off camera. We're going to get started. So I'm going in with the Power Grip Primer by e.l.f. If you watched my last Get Ready With Me, this is pretty much the same makeup. Nothing really has changed. This is the only thing that I have added new um, prior to that previous video that I did with y'all, which is the e.l.f primer and I really do like it I'm trying to get more into makeup because I don't wear it that often unless I'm really going to an event somewhere or if I'm obviously filming for y'all for YouTube that's it this is the only time I wear makeup for real but other than that natural bare face and I actually enjoy my natural bare face now if I had the option to have my eyebrows done all the time then I would do that but I haven't found nobody to do that yet. So next, I'm getting ready to go in with the Ease Drop Blur Smooth Tint Stick by obviously Fenty. Ooh, excuse me. In the color, in the shade 19. Now, I saw that the Groundhog, did he see it? He didn't see his shadow? He didn't see his shadow. So that means spring and summer come a little early and we'd love to see it. So I already know that I'm probably going to change my shade again because I had to change it because I had changed colors this winter time. So, yes. But comment down below some makeup tips that y'all have and that y'all use. I'm trying to get make sure my makeup looks flawless like the girls on TikTok. Then I'm going to spray the... The setting mist on my beauty blender to see what that does for me as far as my makeup my makeup my foundation goes let's see what that does for me but y'all we have made it i know a lot of people said their new year started this month no my, my new year actually started last month it's just it's been a lot going on like i told y'all it's a lot happening this year like from January to May, it is so much going on. I told y'all your girl is moving again. It's about that time for me to move again. So I'm excited about that. I'm trying to change my job. All that. I don't know why every time I get on camera with y'all, I do stuff backwards. Like, like I was supposed to do my eyebrows first. I always do my eyebrows first, but obviously I'm putting on this foundation first. Which that's not what I wanted to do, but you know, we're here. You're here, we're here, we're here. I heard a lot of people say using a beauty blender gets the job done a lot better than a brush. But what I noticed with this skin tint, you know how you like blot it on your face? You gotta make sure you blend it in completely because if not, you will see where you like place the stick at on your face y'all yeah, got a pimple that means my homegirl is coming to visit me soon which is fine with me that means we, like, we don't have any kids yet and there's nothing wrong with that hopefully y'all checked out my new year's not new year's my new york vlog that was my first time ever going to new york y'all and i ain't lie i had fun even though i didn't record as much as I would have liked to because I'd be a little shame in public. I don't know why. Comfortability in my own home, I have no problem. But out in public, I'd be like, everybody's on me. Everybody's on that you, girl. Y'all, I'm going in with tan sand under my eyes. Normally, I use the color um, concealer, the same color as my skin tone. But today, I'm going with lighter because I've been liking the lighter 
under my eyebrow lately. It's been, it's been doing me justice. So let's go ahead and go in with our concealer brush that our Morphe brush, the M432. See, look, that close up on my face, I can see some of the, I need to blend it. But what are y'all plans for Valentine's Day? I know a lot of people think, especially a lot of the single people, think because, oh, I don't have a man. Ooh, I just went into my eyebrow up a little bit. We don't have time for this, here. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Girl. Okay, I got that on standby. But like I was saying, a lot of people think because they don't have a boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, whatever, that it's the end of the world. And baby, it's really not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been doing Galentine's for the past three years now. Like, literally. Whether I had a boyfriend or not, I've been doing Galentine's for the past three years. I actually have a Galentine's to go to next weekend. So, Get with your homegirls. And I and I'm and lately on social media I've been seeing that a lot lately that the girls been putting gown time together and hang out with their homegirls. Like y'all don't have to sit in the house and mope around because you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And social media doesn't make us feel like we have to, we really don't. If you're not ready for one, don't have one. You don't have to be in one just because everybody else is in one. You know what I'm saying? I just so happened to get back into another one out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And that's my business. On what I want to do, how I want to do it, and who I want to do it with. That's nobody else's business but mine. But a lot of people think that's, that's how you're supposed to be. And you're really not. I know y'all look a little crazy right now. I'm really... I'm not mad. Let me stop saying that. Because <clears throat> I was about to say I was mad that I got that concealer on my eyebrow where I didn't want it to go. But I'm really not upset about that because that can be corrected, you know. And make sure you blend down with, with that. Y'all, I'm not a, what can I say, a makeup artist whatsoever. So, like I said, don't judge me what I'm doing. That's why I told y'all to give me some, give me some pointers down in the comments. If you are a makeup artist, give me some pointers. But I know that I normally do my eyebrows first before I do my foundation because obviously there's gonna be some harsh lines there. But like I said, I'm gonna take this brush, my blending brush. This is a brush from MAC. My blending brush. I use this for a blending brush and I use it for eyeshadow. And we're just gonna try to, you know, blend it out a little bit more so it's not as harsh. Cause we still want that light, lighter line up there, but. So yeah. All right, now that we did that, moving on to eyebrows. Y'all, like I said, I always use the instant, instant lip brow by elf in the color darkest brown this works for me this is what i also use on my lips when i do my lip liner as well so i just go in and do some little strokes i start with the tail first because i feel like the tail sets the tone for my eyebrows i don't know about y'all but it, it sets the tone for mine i can just follow the shape of my eyebrows Last time I needed my eyebrows when I did this foot down. I think we're good. See what I'm saying? Oh, we're gonna have a good eyebrow day today. We're gonna have a good eyebrow day today. Concealer. I'm using tan walnut to go under my eyes. 
this is more close to my skin tone. I realized that I don't really like the concealer under the eyes. Like, I don't like too much. Like, I always know when I put too much. And then I'm going to put some on my chin. Do I want to go down and bridge my nose today? Why not? We'll give it to y'all today. And a little bit right there. Y'all also, I, I went back to, what they call it? Is it contouring? I went back to contouring. So, because I did a makeup look yesterday. And I recorded a whole video and then I'm not posting it because I don't like it. Like I need to fix it. So I'm going to go right there and go down like that. And this thing, I'm going to go down. And then go down. And then I'm going to go on the side of my nose. On both sides. And then I'm going to come around. And then we're going to blend it out, you know. See, that one was a little bit more crooked. And then I'm there on my cheek. My jawline. To slim my jawline up. Because y'all, auntie, auntie been eating a little bit. Alright. Let me move the rest of my makeup stuff over here. Because clearly, auntie is not prepared. Y'all, what did I do? with my, I'm looking for a brush that I had yesterday. All right, I can't find the brush that I was using, so I'm gonna use this brush to like buff out that I really don't want to, nah, I'm gonna do it. I'm not an expert with this, but you know, add it on my forehead a little bit, get my forehead a little definition. So first things first, I'm gonna spray my setting spray again. I'm going in with the same blending brush that I used to blend my my makeup with, and I'm going under my eye. Like I said, I'm still learning different techniques, so I don't really like. I like the bright under eye look when I do it the cor correctly, but I noticed that I was putting entirely too much makeup under my eye. And that's why I don't like it. And then we're gonna go up the bridge of the nose and the forehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, for the single people, for us for Valentine's Day, take yourself out to eat. Buy yourself whatever it is that you want to buy yourself. Whether it's some perfume, some, you know, you can go to Kroger if you live in the South. You can go to Kroger and go buy you a $20 bouquet. Cook yourself a nice steak dinner, honey. And call it a day. I know it's easier said than done. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I have planned for Valentine's Day, but I do know what I'm gonna do is, if my man not here, I'm gonna go out. And then we're gonna have a ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a ball, honey. I'm not gonna sit in the house and, excuse me, gripe and complain because I don't have nobody to go out, go out with. You know what I'm saying? Go out with yourself, like. Okay, y'all, now I'm going in with that brush. Hopefully this brush does what I needed to do to blend that contour out. Yeah, girl. I'm looking so far. I feel like every time I do a makeup look, I still be looking the same on camera. It, I don't. Is that a good thing that I'm not? That I don't look like I'm. I have any makeup on. Like I don't know. Damn. Forehead. Come on now. Mm -hmm.
All right, y'all, next I'm going with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Setting Powder by NYX in the color Banana. This is how I'm gonna get that bright under eye look. So, so what I do, y'all, I dip it in here, and then I dip it on the back of my hand too, so I don't have too too much, and then I just kind of go under there. Where's my little powder puff? I think I got this from Shein. So, under there like that. Put it down here. Y'all, it is raining real bad today. But I love a good rainy day, though. I love a good rainy day. Alright, so while we wait on that, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and go in with... I don't know what lashes I'm going to wear. I ran out of my favorite lashes. It's like the little cat eye. Like, I love cat eye eyelashes. So if y'all know some good eyeglass, I eyeglass, eyelash companies that have good cat eye, I would love to have them. Am I the only person that sit here and have my mouth open while I'm trying to apply mascara? My own person that does that. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using earlier, and I'm gonna swipe at that setting powder. Mm -hmm. I also see somebody do it on the side of the face. Hold on. Yeah, they did it like under there. Yeah, they did it. Right That's it. I'm gonna go into going with Julius Place Bronze Tan. Y'all know this is like my holy grail. This is like the only thing that I use on my eyeshadow, on my eyeshadow, on my eyelids. So I'm going in with the the lighter color, and I'm dabbing it all over my. I dab it all over my eyelid first, and then I go in a sweeping motion, going upwards, back and forth. like even a, a natural look like I told y'all I always the first person I ever seen do a soft beat was Princess Reese and this is what she used I was just in New York too I want to get my makeup done by her so bad like she's one of my favorites when it comes to makeup and voila magic so next last but not least we are gonna go in with a highlighter, obviously by, oh, upside head, upside down. Highlighter by Fenty Beauty. This is Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet. Probably, I always use Mo, Mo Honey, so I'm probably gonna use Mo Honey. So what I do with this, dab it on there. And then go up and down my nose. Up and down, up and down, up and down. So I highlight that nose. Actually, I'm just gonna use my finger. Yeah, a little bit more pigment too. But I use my finger. Get it up and down the right of my nose. And then the center. And then boom. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go like this. This. Um, 
y'all so i'm gonna go ahead with my go in with my setting spray it's about morphe i still have the same setting spray i need to buy some more i love the way it smells it smells so good like i know they got a perfume i have a perfume it smells like that I told you, I feel like I be looking the same on camera. Like, I don't understand. Hold on. Let me find my lipstick. Because y'all know I, we're doing a bold red lip today. Because I just feel like red gives Valentine's Day. So, that's what we're going to use. I got to find it first. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm back. So, I went and grabbed my earrings first before I put on my lipstick. These are the teardrop ear earrings. I got these from Shein. I got these. Some silver ones and some gold ones. They also have them on Amazon. These are supposed to be Bottega inspired. I'm gonna get some more because I really do like these. Ever since Aaliyah's face said something about these, I love them ever since. Let's see the powder on the back of my hand. All right. So we're gonna go ahead. Y'all already know what we're going into. We're going in with uncensored. Uncensored is my holy grail. This is like my favorite lipstick out of all the lipstick that Rihanna has. Cause y'all know I love a good bold red lip. So this is the final look. I went ahead and put my hat on that I'm about to put on for y'all with the whole rest of the ensemble. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear these. I'm getting ready to do a review on these probably the next video after this one. But I think I want to because it gives it a more... Oh, girl, excuse me. My, hold on, my nose is itching. It gives it a more... I don't know. It gives it a more sophisticated look like... Yes, I'm a blind baddie. I'm that girl, you know? Yeah. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your channel. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye. Alright, y'all. So, this is the final look. So, the dress. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this dress. A few times the dress is from Hanifa. I think I got it in an extra small. My boots are from Amazon. I got these in a size seven. My hat is also from Amazon. My glasses are from Rave. These are Grace and the color Onyx. And my bag is Balenciaga. So yes, this is the finished date night look. You know what I'm saying? If whether you have you no know, gallon time out with your friends or out with your man, this is for the grown and sex event. And the perfume that I would pair with this would be my MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold. So, yes, I hope y'all like it. Bye.